Okay, so here we are at LPI. This is the Lunar Planetary Institute. Right back there. Um, and again, this building, this facility is responsible for these images that we see on these radar. Um, also a lot of Apollo images. So is this open? Okay, we're making a YouTube video, so. Oh. Yeah, about asteroids and different near-Earth objects, so. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Who would I talk to you about that, do you know? So we used to have, like, public hours, not anymore. So oh, okay. okay. Unfortunately, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit stop. All right, nocturnal news. Hello and welcome, my friends. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's get to it. In part one of this video, I will be making the case that this is a real ufo and by ufo i mean it's simply unidentified it is flying and it is an object ufo okay part two of this video i'll do my best to basically debunk it so that way you can hear both sides of the argument instead of a biased video trying to convince you that this is something out of this world i want you to hear both sides of the argument okay and really i think that's the best way to investigate these different ufo sightings and, and more importantly that's how we really get to the truth okay uh and that's what we're all about here at nocturnal news getting to the truth we don't care about clickbait none of that crap so okay let's get started october 27 2003 an unknown object was tracked recorded and documented by the arcebo radio telescope first discovered by space watch at kit peak and by the way um this telescope this radio telescope is no longer in service okay just so you know uh, this particular telescope is responsible or was responsible for tracking countless asteroids and other near-earth objects in our solar system but comment id number 2265142003 ux34 stands out from any other known object in our entire solar system okay just think about that guys and this unknown object is currently being carefully monitored by NASA and LPI, okay, uh, in my hometown here, that is Loon the, the Lunar Planetary Institute, about 15 minutes from where I'm making this video, although they have been very vague at best when it comes to offering any explanation as to what this is, okay, and that's very typical of NASA. So, okay, look, just a few... I guess, quick cliff notes before we dig a little bit deeper into the mystery. Number one, this object has, has absolutely no known rotation, tumble, or spin like you would typically see in any known asteroid, meaning whatever it is, it's basically stationary as it orbits Earth, Mars, and other planets, even the Sun. Okay, the UFO, the object, whatever you want to call it, however you want to categorize it, also seems to be orbiting Earth under its own control because over 40% of its flight path is outside of the gravitational pull, uh, you know, from Earth and, and other planets. Okay, again, very, uh, not very odd, incredibly odd, meaning it is somehow staying in a constant fixed orbit and turning back towards Earth without any planetary gravitational pool and it's been doing this for nearly two decades 21 years i think uh first discovered in 2003 we're headed to, to uh, 2024 so about 2021 20, years also this asteroid okay ufo has been categorized as an nea meaning near earth asteroid and, and, and that's by the way measured in astronomical units and this particular object is 1.3 a au from the sun or 1.3 astronomical units because this ufo okay this asteroid object whatever comes incredibly close to planet earth the sun and, and even mars okay and i'll show that here in a little bit or maybe you've already seen it i don't know <laughs> okay uh this object it's about the size of a football field and, and now look that may sound big but we have aircraft right here on earth that that's almost as as big relatively speaking for example the the strato launch rock is the biggest airplane in the world the plane has uh, a wingspan 
Okay, of about 385 feet, which is longer than a football field, it recently completed its ninth test flight in the Mojave Desert, January 19th, 2023. Okay, just to add a little context and a little bit of proof of what I tell you. Now, at first look, this object appears to be a a typical disc-shaped UFO. Okay, now first of all, there is no rotation data, meaning every asteroid, and I do mean every single one that I've ever looked up, recorded by NASA has some type of rotation data data, right? None, zilch, nada. Okay, whatever this object is, it doesn't have any sign of rotating, tumbling, or spinning like any other asteroid in our or even near our solar system. Okay. Also, if you go through the NASA files that are buried on the internet, NASA has categorized this as an unknown, an unknown object and a potential threat to Earth. I mean, it's just crazy. Look, and guys, like I said, we, we can prove all of this. These are all facts that I'm telling you. Okay, now, whatever this object is, it doesn't resemble any other asteroid in terms of how it orbits Earth, the moon, the sun, meaning it has no just explainable orbit, okay? And of course, I will leave links below so you can verify everything that I've told you in this video, like the tumble rate of the object or the orbit or the fact that it's orbiting through our solar system in a fixed flight path, crazy. Okay, now, do I think, uh, or do I think this is a a UFO from outer space? I I don't know. I have no idea. It could be something man-made. It could be a satellite from another country. It could be anything, but I don't think it's an asteroid. Okay, and if it is an asteroid, it defies everything we know about asteroids. Okay, so here we are at LPI. This is the Lunar Planetary Institute. This facility is responsible for these images that we see on these radar. Um, Also a lot of Apollo images. Uh, They are the ones that are are responsible for tracking this asteroid or this UFO. Alright, again, just a quick look. Why not? You know, something you don't see every day. Uh, This is the building that monitors a lot of satellites. Okay, so again, real quick, here we are at LPI. Now you can see this if I walk over here. You see these different uh, photos of the moon on the wall. Pretty cool. Uh, A lot of history here, so I thought you guys might want to see this. We're about maybe, I don't know, probably 10 minutes from NASA. An inside look at LPI. This looks like some some type of a library probably need to get out of here before I get arrested or something but be right there I don't know if they're opened or closed is this open no, okay we're making a YouTube video so oh. yeah about asteroids and different near-earth objects so uh, I see. yeah okay. who would I talk to you about that do you know so we used to have like public hours okay guys look I know it's very loud I apologize for the noise but that is NASA Mission Control right there. Okay, we're driving by. It's that building right there. Okay. Uh, now, I just left the Lunar Planetary Institute, and I spoke to a very nice lady that gave me a number to call to get some info on this asteroid. I mean, how cool is that? You know, they totally busted me, like, snooping around their facility. Opened or closed. Is this open? Okay, we're making a YouTube video, so. Yeah, about asteroids and different near-Earth objects, so. Uh, Yeah. Who would I talk to about that, do you know? And some very nice woman came out and spoke to me and gave me a number of a woman that I can call to get a little bit more information on this particular asteroid. Okay, now we're headed over to NASA just to get a little video, guys, so stay tuned. 
Okay, so here we are at NASA. Boots on the ground. This is some real investigative work here, guys, okay? I just got a good connection over there at LPI. Okay, now we're gonna head through NASA here, and I'm gonna talk to you just a minute about this, this asteroid, this UFO, uh, whatever you wanna call it. By the way, that is the Saturn V rocket over there. Again, here we are at NASA. Okay, so keep in mind, like I said earlier, uh, this object, and, and I know I've, I've brought this up a million times in the video, but it doesn't have any rotation data. Meaning, again, anytime there's an asteroid in space, it always has that, that info. So I'm gonna ask this lady, this contact that I just made at LPI, you know, where is that data? Why hasn't NASA, right here, why haven't they released it to the public? and just get any information that I can whatsoever on this particular UAP, okay? Because that's what it is, um, you know, or UFO rather. It is an unidentified flying object. We don't know what it is. Um, again, it has a very unusual orbit that uh, you don't see, you know, in any, any other typical asteroid in the solar system. And it was discovered 20, years ago or 21 years ago so where's the info where's the data what is nasa hiding what are they covering up so that's what i'm going to do again i'm going to make a follow-up video and uh interview my contact that i now have at the lunar planetary institute and i will absolutely post that phone call uh, you know, with this particular woman. It's a lady. I won't say her name until I call her. Uh, or, you know, perhaps I can even go up there and interview her in person. Okay? So, look, guys, I take this topic very serious. I take these videos very serious. Uh, and, I, and, and you see, I do a lot of work to bring you guys the truth. Okay? Now, there's other UFO channels that, you know, they're covering this particular case but it's just clickbait, that's all it is. I mean, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, you got nocturnal news here on the scene, right? Boots on the ground. Now we're at NASA, okay? Just doing, doing my part, people, doing my part. Now it's time to go. All right, so before I kind of get to part two of my video, which is debunking my own video, or at least trying to, I kind of wanted to just, you know, do a little voiceover and explain what you're looking at. Okay, this is the GIF right there from NASA uh, of this object. Okay, now right here, of course, I added a little bit of a filter to bring out the highlights. This is a statement from NASA. Okay, talks about the, the diameter, and it says we know nothing about its physical properties okay um and it goes on to say that is it's dangerous it's a near-earth object discovered in 2003 uh and again this unexplainable orbit okay you see it right here that white line is the orbit um it's just incredible okay now this little dot on the top okay nasa says that that's like a, a moon okay a moon that is orbiting the asteroid um I don't know. It does. I don't see it circling the object. It looks like it's kind of going up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, perhaps we just don't have the full video and it would circle the object. Maybe. Now, let's do a quick side by side comparison. Now, this is an asteroid. Okay. This is what you would typically see versus this UFO. Now, on the left, you can clearly see that's a, that's a rock. Okay. Tumbling in space. The object on the right. It looks like a spinning disk, okay? Now, remember, NASA has no rotational data on this object. That is so highly suspect because NASA, they can give you that. That's the most basic data that NASA offers with, with any asteroid, 
So where is it? Okay, so I said in part two of this video, I'm going to do my best to debunk this. Well, it's going to be quick because there's not a lot to debunk here. I mean, these are cold, hard facts we're dealing with. But, okay, I guess you could say in terms of the rotation and tumbling uh, the data that NASA would typically release to the public, maybe for just for whatever reason, they have not released this info to the public. Okay, look, you can look up any other asteroid known to man and NASA has put out this information but maybe for some reason they didn't release the the rotational data data um, on this particular object okay that's number one number two I mentioned the gravitational pull uh, from Mars and even Earth how you know, it's basically outside of that range that would make it swing back around and come to Earth. Now, maybe just perhaps I don't have, you know, a good enough understanding to gravitational pull. I mean, I'm not like some scientist, okay? I'm just a guy that did some research on the inter internet. Maybe I got that part wrong, but I don't think so. Everything I, I've read, all the research I've done, this object, when it goes around Mars, okay, it's too far out, meaning it would typically just kind of dart off into space, but for whatever reason, it's turning back around and coming back around Earth, and it's been doing so for over 20 years. But again, maybe I just don't have a good enough understanding of how this works. That's number one, number two, number three. Um, we covered the rotation data. Maybe it hasn't been released, the gravitational pull. Maybe I just don't understand it. Okay, let's talk about this little object, okay? Uh, to me, that's, it looks like a smaller UFO. Now, there was one thing that I did find that NASA said. NASA did say that that was basically like a little baby moon orbiting the asteroid. So as the asteroid is orbiting Earth and Mars and other planets, Sun, whatever, it has a moon that is orbiting the asteroids. And that's pretty typical of asteroids to have like smaller pieces around it. So, you know, perhaps that's that can explain that part of it. But look, let me just say this in closing. Okay, this looks like a classic disc-shaped UFO. Um, again, if there is if there is any rotation data on this object, I certainly can't find it. Okay, that's, you know, I think pretty ironic. Why would NASA hide that very basic information from the public? It makes no sense. And why would the Lunar Planetary Institute not publish that information. Like, none of this makes sense to me, okay? Uh, and, and that's really all I could say in terms of debunking this, you know? Maybe I just got it wrong, which I doubt. And and uh, for whatever reason, they haven't released the, the, the very basic details on this object. Now, to me, that's a little suspect, in my opinion, because, again, you can just randomly pull any asteroid out of a hat and you can find a ton of information on it but for whatever reason this one you can't okay so all right guys look i'm going to stop babbling there that's about all i have if i um if i learn anything new of course i will post a follow-up video because i think this could be the smoking gun this is an amazing ufo case um i first heard about this on um UFO sightings daily and then of course I did a deep dive on it so I think he just kind of played it and showed it and talked about it and you know once and done and I have spent about the past seven or eight days researching this object okay so again if I get any new info I will definitely you know share it with you okay uh, and, and one last thing I have probably five or six videos I think um, ready to go so you guys please you know subscribe share like leave a comment all those things help helps us out tremendously so all right guys tell me what do you think this is try to debunk it do your own research and and um, just please leave a comment below all right guys have a good night